If you want to know how the Burr strategy works and where you can find the best properties that work for this investment strategy, then stick around. Hello everyone, my name is Kurt Davis with Real Estate Wealth Coaching and today I am going to go over how the Burr strategy works using a real example of a property that I personally own and how I find properties that work for this model. Now before I get going, if you would, click on the subscribe button in the bottom corner and let me know at the end of this video in the comments section what you learned from this video. All right, now the Burr strategy stands for buy, renovate, rent, refinance, and repeat. It's a very popular form of buying homes for a long-term buy and hold strategy. Now, if it's done correctly, you could do this with very little and sometimes no money out of your pocket. One of the reasons why someone would purchase this way is you can beat the system and not have to put down the standard 20% down payment. Another reason someone would use this Burr strategy is that maybe they have good credit, but they don't have enough for a down payment and the closing cost for a traditional conventional purchase. So how does it work? First thing you need to be able to do is qualify for conventional financing with a takeout lender. Now, this lender traditionally does 30-year mortgages for investors who have less than 10 mortgages. Uh, make sure you are working with a lender who understands this type of investing strategy. Once you are approved for the conventional takeout loan, you're then going to need to secure a private lender, also called a hard money lender. Now, most private lenders who make loans to investors doing the Burr strategy require you to provide an approval letter from your takeout lender in order to get their private loan. Most private lenders today, we see they're charging on average three to 5% loan origination fees, and then they typically charge you monthly interest payments of 1% based on the loan amount. Now, if you find a good enough deal and the private lender is an asset-based lender, you could close on the deal with no money out of pocket. Uh, when I get to the example property, I will show you exactly how this works. Now that you have the takeout lender and the private lender in place, you need to make sure you have someone who can renovate the property once you purchase it and then have a property management company ready to go to manage it and start marketing it for tenants. So you have the takeout lender, the private hard money lender, a contractor and a property manager. Now all you have to do is find a property that meets the Burr strategy formula. Okay, so before I get into the actual formula, make sure to stay with me because I still have to reveal to you how I find the best deals that do work for the strategy. Now, the Burr strategy formula is as follows. You take the ARV, which stands for after repair value, and you take 70% of this number, subtract out the private lender's loan origination fees and closing costs, and that is what you have to purchase and renovate a property with. Now, if you find a killer deal, and you can, you can sometimes do this with no money down on the front end. So here's an example of how a real property that I own and I used the Burr strategy on this one. So this home is located in Memphis. Now, when I found this home, I determined at the time that this home was worth around $100,000. Now, my private lender was willing to loan me $70,000, which is 70% based on the value. This is what I have to cover everything unless I wanna come out of pocket, which I don't. Now, this number is important because I was only able to refinance at 75% of the after repair value. So I left a 5% cushion to factor in the refinance costs on the back end. I purchased the home for $61,000 with a tenant already in place paying $1,095 per month. The home really only needed about 5,400 in cosmetic repairs. My loan origination fees were 3%. And the loan, which was a, of the loan, which was about twenty one hundred, and my closing cost was around fifteen hundred. So when I closed on this home, my private lender, my private loan, actually covered everything in order for me to close on this home. This is what I called a zero down deal. Now they still are out there, but they're really hard to come by. Once I closed on the home and made the minor repairs, 
I had my conventional lender or my takeout lender start to do the re refinance. The home appraised at 100,000, I was about to refinance at a maximum of 75,000. My refinance closing fees were around 5,000 and that was factored into my loan so I did not have to bring that money out of my pocket. Now, this loan took about two months to complete, so along with two months of interest-only payments to the lender and a $500 appraisal fee, I was out of pocket about $1,900, which is much better than, say, the typical $20,000 for a down payment and $5,000 for the closing costs, assuming I had purchased a similar home the traditional way. Now, my gross monthly cash flow on this particular home was around $450, and this was on a 30-year loan. Now, those are hard deals to find, but they are out there. Now you might be thinking that these numbers are too good to be true and they don't exist anymore. They still do exist, but honestly they are, they are very hard to come by. Now, so now where do you find homes like this? I've been buying and selling homes using the Burr strategy since 2007 and the market has changed a lot since then. Uh, back then I used to find homes regularly that worked for this strategy from the MLS. Now in today's market, with fewer distressed foreclosures on the market and fewer homes on the MLS in general, along with all the competition that comes from the MLS and the listed homes, the main way I'm finding homes that work for the Burr strategy are coming mostly from wholesalers. Now you can find a lot of wholesalers on Facebook, Facebook groups, uh, even at your local investment group if you have one close by. Wholesalers are working directly with homeowners and they're typically looking for fast cash buyers to buy the home in as is condition. Wholesalers use several different strategies to find motivated sellers. Now you can, you can just buy the homes and work with the wholesalers direct uh, if the numbers work or if you really wanted to, uh, you could get aggressive and you could start using some of the same strategies that wholesalers are using to find the off-market motivated sellers. I'm gonna post a video uh, that will kind of teach you and, and teach you how to understand what the different ways wholesalers are marketing to find these types of properties. Now, if you like this video, make sure to click the like button and let me know what you got out of this video in the comments section. I will reply to all messages. Also, make sure to check out some of my other videos that talk about the Burr strategy and how to find off-market properties. So. Thanks everybody for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.